A Rock's Prime Minister escaping unscathed after an explosion followed by gunfire targeted his residence in Baghdad in what is being called an attempted assassination. In a televised speech, Mustafa al Kadimi announced he and his entourage were safe. Currently, missiles and drones do not build countries or our future. I invite everyone to a calm and constructive dialogue for the sake of Iraq and the future of Iraq. Three drones were reportedly used in the attack, including two that were intercepted and downed by security forces. Video of the damage showed a vehicle parked outside the residence with the windows blown out and surrounded by debris. Security has now been stepped up around the capital's heavily fortified green zone, where al Qadimi lives. The area has become a flashpoint for tensions after last month's election, which saw Iran-backed militias lose much of their parliamentary power. On Friday, protests by those demanding a recount turned violent when they tried to enter the green zone. With government forces, firing tear gas and live ammunition. Supporters of the parties disputing the election were camped outside the green zone again on Saturday, while funerals were held for those killed in the clashes. al Qadimi has ordered an investigation into the deaths. Residents in Baghdad are condemning the failed attempt on the Prime Minister's life. This man is calling for a united front. To prevent inner turmoil, he says, that aims to destroy Iraq and its sovereignty. Both Iran's foreign ministry and the militia leaders have condemned the attempted assassination, with one leader quoted by Reuters as saying, no one in Iraq has the desire to waste a drone on the house of a former prime minister. Now, Canada is among the countries also expressing its condemnation. A statement from Global Affairs reads, terrorism, violence and other illegal acts have no place in the democratic process. Now, Iraq's election commission has yet to announce the final election results, although they are not likely to change significantly. Karen Seolin, City News.